Hey everyone, Brent Wessler with VRC. Today we're going to talk a little bit about Azure AI Foundry and the Models Catalog. So we're going to go into my subscription here. What I wanted to really show is this new feature, um, which is basically the model leaderboard um, and also the ability to compare uh, models. Um, if you go to the model catalog, you can see um, a couple of things have changed uh, since last month when I posted. Uh, you can see here now we have a model leaderboard um, and it will show based on quality, cost, and throughput, um, which is kind of cool. So it shows based on quality, the O3 chat GPT model is going to be the best. Um, now you could click this browse leaderboard, which is going to then show you the actual model. And when you click on any one of these, it will allow you to then uh, upload a sample document and see what the output would be. But I love this. Um, so the more you go down, the more you have these different insights and metrics. So the quality, what, you know, engine is the best. And there's so many engines out there. Um, they're saying the chat 03 model and the 04 mini are the most quality uh, based on cost and quality. And then you can see below, it gives you kind of a uh, matrix of quality versus cost versus quality versus throughput. And you can see here most of the uh, chat GPT models do quite well. And then you also have things like DeepSeek. Then you can go below here and then see, um, you know, how well it reasons, general knowledge, question and answer, math, things like that, document clustering. Um, and when you click, it will then show you the actual uh, indicator in here, this 0.93 quality index. And you can actually go to the model. Um, I love this. Um, you can also, if you didn't want to do it based on leaderboard, but you want to compare models, you can come down here and you can see there's um, one thing I did notice is they've added the hugging face, um, which is the open source models. So you could see that was all here, um, as well as Mistral, which is the a French model and Phi, which is an open source Microsoft model. So this Phi is its own Microsoft um, new uh, LLM and um, it, it's open source and it comes with uh, some pretty good features but you can come up here and compare models where then based on a particular task or if you just wanted to you know add particular models here you can do that uh, models to compare and I can come in and say you know I want to take the uh, uh, llama model for meta you can add that in here and then you can see on a matrix uh, based on quality. And you can see, you can show all these different scoring. Um, also things like uh, F1 scores, um, uh, also things like fine tuning scores, relevance, things like that. And you're seeing a lot of these different types of um, coherence, fluency, groundedness. Uh, these are some of the terminologies that are being um, you know, brought to the forefront. So uh, I love this uh, because it's hard to compare models and know what does well uh, in terms of reasoning, um, you know, less hallucinations and different types of capabilities. And then obviously if you click on any one of the models, you can then use the playground capability. So you can see here, try with your own data. So you can evaluate this model, which would allow you to put into the playgrounds area. So once you build the model, you can then go in and play with it and see what it actually does.